What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we are talking fall fishing swim baits. More importantly, underspins. I got some tips for you guys to catch more fish and simplify your swim bait fishing this fall fishing season. Fall fishing, hopefully you guys have followed along this whole transition period into fall fishing. We've given you guys so many different uh, techniques and some tips, how to simplify your fishing, how to really catch those finicky fish when the bite is tough, when it is all out tough, what you can do to catch fish. Today, we're adding to that. Today, we're talking about adding flash to your swim baits. We all love throwing swim baits, right? Fall time, as those fish are chasing those bait balls, adding a little bit of flash, throwing an underspin is a great way to uh, put fish in the boat or on the shoreline when they don't want to commit. So today's video, I'm gonna break down some of my favorite types of underspins, and I got some tips for you that I really think you guys are gonna enjoy and you can apply to your fishing. So first off, why throw an underspin when you can just go out and throw your, your favorite 4.8 or your favorite five inch swim bait why throw an underspin? And it's really simple. You want your bait to stand out from the rest of the baits that they're, they're chasing, right? So if you can add a little flash to your traditional swim bait setup, they see that, they key in on it, and you could have some of the best fishing of the entire season this fall time throwing an underspin. So what I have today, I have, a, I have some finesse swim baits and I have some larger swim baits. I'm gonna show you guys uh, which heads I like and why. And then again, like I said, I got, I got a tip for you. Definitely stick around because um, I don't know that Matt and I have ever done a video on it. And it's something I learned a long, long time ago. And I really think you guys uh, will enjoy this little tip. But uh, let's start off with the finesse swim baits because right now, out here on Chickamauga, the bait, that these fish are chasing are little inch, inch and a half shad. And uh, it could be frustrating, right? When you're wanting to go out there and you're wanting to throw a, a five inch swim bait, but those fish are so dialed into those smaller swim baits, sometimes you have to downsize to get bit. This is a little cool baits underspin. We've done several videos on this, on this head uh, in the past. This is paired up with a little uh, easy shiner, the Kitek little different profile than your traditional 2.8 swing impact. You can see right here, very, very finesse presentation. This is an eighth ounce head. You could throw that on your spinning rod. You don't have to throw a big broomstick uh, swim bait rod to throw these little guys. And you will catch so many fish downsizing and throwing this little, this little guy right here. So this is actually the little cool baits. Like I said, that's an eighth ounce head, little uh, willow leaf blade on there and uh, a real light wire hook. Again, you can throw this on your five, six, eight, 10 pound test spinning rod setups and you will catch fish. So the next time that you're out or you're out with your kids, you're out with your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, and the person in the boat is, uh, is bored, not catching fish, tie one of these on, have them cast it around the grass lines and uh, it won't be too long until you're tying one on because they're kicking your butt from the back of the boat. So check out these little guys right here. That's the cool baits, a little underspin. They have a one right here, it's got more of a, more stout of a hook. You could actually get away with throwing that on a light bait caster. Again, we'll link all the stuff down below in the video description. But the next time you are out and you are just dying on the vine, you can't buy a bite and you're throwing your big traditional, you know, swim baits or your big reaction baits, downsize and go with a little underspin. Again, having that flash, that vibration, as this little thing is just, finessely <laughs> swimming through the water, that blade's kicking. As those bass are sitting down there watching those little bait fish swim over the tops of them, boom, you stand out from the rest of the pack, you're gonna catch fish with those. So definitely, if you guys have not ever thrown an underspin, definitely try one of these guys right here. Now sticking with the exposed hook, let me backtrack a little bit. I have two categories of underspins that I like to throw. An exposed hook, right? And a Texas rigged hook, a weedless hook. This is a bait right here that you can throw in and around grass and cover. These little cool baits right here, these are exposed hooks. The benefit of those, when you fire this out and you're just reeling it back, 
a lot of times those fish will be tracking it from behind and come up and eat it and they will bring that bait to you all you will feel you won't even feel a bite all you will feel is your bait disappear and the line come to you. Now the benefit of having that exposed hook is when that fish peels off to turn with that exposed hook, it's gonna hook itself. So a lot of times you will get better hook penetration with an exposed hook. You don't have to jack them as hard when you set the hook. Uh, it's just out there, there's no plastic in the way. That is when I'm gonna go with uh, an exposed hook. When I am not fishing around cover, when I'm fishing open water, you know, trying to throw something like this in and around grass can be a nightmare, but open water, it works really, really well. So sticking with the exposed hook heads, my favorite exposed hook head is gonna be right here. This is the Spintrix by Blade Runner. This is actually a 3 8 ounce head, has a nice fall to it, and a nice willow leaf blade, right, just like the others. Some of these are available in a Colorado blade, but guess what guys, it's a swivel on here. So if you wanna switch out these blades, all you have to do is buy your blades and change out that blade right there. Just open, you know, get your split ring, split ring pliers and change out your blade. And you can upsize your blade, downsize to get whatever presentation you want. But this guy right here out of the package is my favorite exposed hook. Uh, Underspin. This is the Spintrix. This is actually a 4.8 Kitek. Now, one of the reasons that this is my favorite, I'm going to rig one up for you guys. I'm going to show you. Those of you guys that love throwing swim baits, small swim baits, you guys know that you will go through packs and packs of these in a day because fish tear them up. The Spintrix actually has a keeper on there try and rig this up for you guys so you guys can see what makes this special it actually has a screw lock built in to the shank of the hook you guys see that right there I'll zoom in on one for you right there so all you do to rig these I know it can be a little confusing to uh, let me just start from scratch I know it can be a little confusing to kind of kind of see so this is a that's a uh, 3.8 Kitek, and this is a quarter ounce Spintrix. So just like rigging all swim baits, I've, I've, I've given this tip a, a long time ago in a video. Um, what I like to do, I will put my head up against the face of my bait and see where that hook needs to come out, and then I will actually scratch right in the, on, the, on the back of the hook, or back of the bait, where that hook needs to come out. That gives me an idea when I'm threading this on, when I'm putting this bait on my hook, I now know exactly where that hook has to come out of the bait, right? I'm all lined up. So now with this keeper system, again, this is the best I've found uh, without using super glue, is gonna be this, this uh, keeper system right here. So you're gonna thread this bait on as your bait kind of balls up, just unwrap it around the hook shank. Spin it on, unwrap, spin it on. Boom, perfectly straight, tons of grip inside that bait to keep that bait from tearing, to keep that bait from coming off of that hook shank. I could catch 20 or 30 fish on this bait alone as long as I don't lose the tail because that bait is not coming off. Which leads me to my first tip. Any of these other underspin heads, super glue is your friend. Don't go overboard, just put a little dab on there. I actually like the Gorilla Glue, the, the gel. I will put that just a little drop right on the head, right on the head, put that bait on, and that super glue will help keep that bait on the, uh, the shank of the hook a lot like this keeper system that the, uh, the Blade Runner already has built in to their, to their bait right there. That's a 3 8 ounce head. That's a perfect bait to be throwing on a bait caster. If you wanna fish deep, you wanna fish you know, your herring lakes or your shad lakes, open water fisheries where those fish are suspended chasing those bait balls, this right here is money. Again, that's the 3 8 ounce, I'm sorry, 
quarter ounce on a 3.8 Kitec right there. Those are my two favorite exposed hook underspins. Now, <clears throat> one of my other favorites, the main difference uh, with this guy right here, this is actually called the fish head spin. This is a fish head. Again, I will link this down below in the video description, but you can see this bait comes pre-rigged with a lot larger size willow. Hopefully you guys can see that. Now, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna rig this bait for you and I'm gonna give you the number one tip that I can give you for underspin fishing. Hopefully this wind picking up isn't gonna mess up this video. So let me get through this real quick. Um, let's go ahead and put this on. Again, 3 8 ounce, or 3 8, 3.8 Kitec. Gonna measure it out. See where my hook shank needs to be? You always want these things swimming right. If you can't get it rigged right, they won't balance right and they swim swim kind of just not good, uh, you know, in the water column. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I completely rig this and give you my number one tip. Now, just like this fish head spin, Make sure that's right right there. Yep, we're good. Just like the fish head spin with this larger blade, you can change out the blade on any of these underspins as long as it's not too wide and hits the belly of the bait to uh, eliminate the, it doesn't allow the bait to, the, the blade to spin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take, take some super glue because this doesn't have that good of a keeper on it. it just has a little wedge keeper on here. I'm gonna put a little drop of super glue. Give me a second, guys. I'm getting to the tip right here. Okay. Boom. I have an, an, an awesome open water underspin, right? Surprise, I'm giving this up. Okay. <clears throat> Pause for a second. How many of you guys have been on a bite where you're throwing a swim bait, you're throwing an underspin, you're throwing something with flash, anything with flash, donk, you swing, miss. Donk swing and miss and they're just eating the blade a spitter bait a, a, you know anything with flash right here's a golden nugget for you guys get your split ring pliers now again this is going to change depending on the blade size that you have get yourself a small pair, a pair of split ring pliers this is a number two straight shanked hook. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is now gonna be a stinger hook on my underspin blade. I don't care if it's a spinner blade, spinner bait, whatever it is you are throwing that has a willow leaf blade, wanna make sure all this package stays together. Again, you're gonna want small split ring pliers because these little split rings are small. So all I'm doing is putting that number two straight shank hook on the same split ring as the blade. Now you would think that this might impede or mess up the, the rotation of the blade, but as long as you put it on the inside of the willow leaf, it sits in there and it doesn't mess up the rotation at all. So now you, this is actually a number two cover shot hook, an owner cover shot. I just took the, the bait keepers off. I like this hook because it's a little bit more stout, but it's a smaller presentation. So it's not such a light wire hook. But now I have a willow leaf blade that spins that has a number two hook built in right there. So you no longer, as those fish are hitting that blade with your underspin, especially on the, the open water, you know, they're coming up and they're just hitting, they're slapping that blade. Adding a hook right there, you guys, is a must. If you guys haven't tried this before, again, definitely try this. That fish head spin has that bigger willow leaf blade that allows you to put that number two hook on there. If you wanna do it with one of the other guys, you gotta upsize your willow leaf. Again, you can go bigger, you just don't want it wide enough that it hits the belly 
and causes it to, uh, to mess up. But right there, guys, that's my number one tip for throwing an underspin, adding a stinger hook to that blade. Again, I wish I had underwater footage of it, but trust me, it doesn't mess up the rotation of the blade. So there it is. There are my open water underspins. Again, you're gonna cast these just like you would a normal swim bait. You're just adding a little bit of flash and a little bit of sting to those hooks to get those fish in the boat. Now, lastly, let's talk about the, uh, the weedless version. It's kind of what we threw a lot around Clear Lake because we are fishing a grass lake. You know, I hear same thing on Chickamauga, lots and lots of grass. You reservoir fishermen, you open water fishermen, you can get away with that exposed hook and those are money. But if you're fishing in and around cover or grass, you're gonna wanna go with an owner flashy swimmer. This is a 4.8 Kitek, so you can put any size Kitek on here. Here's a 3.8, here's a 3.3. They make all different size hooks and weights. This is a 5 aught. this is a little 1 aught, and this is a 3 aught. Again, I will link everything down below in the video description, but the benefit to having the weedless presentation, you guys already know you can fish it through the grass. So you fire it around that grass edge. As that grass is dying back, those fish are gonna pull to that, that livelier grass, that outside grass line. You can fire this thing right down that grass line. You tick the grass, you pop it. You don't get hung up with that exposed hook. It comes through, it comes through clean. And uh, you get them right here on the owner flash swimmer. A lot, a lot more stout of a hook on, the, on that five aught. But again, you're gonna have to jack them a little bit harder than you would with an exposed hook just to make sure that that, uh, that hook gets good penetration. But an owner flashy swimmer, again, is a must have if you guys are fishing around cover, laydowns, logs, stumps, dock pilings, brush piles, grass. The owner flashy swimmer, it doesn't matter which size swim bait you're throwing, they make a little hook or a big hook that fits it. You guys, this fall time, as those fish are either up shallow or they're deep, and they are chasing bait balls, now you have the ammunition. If you want to throw a swim bait, if you want to be throwing reaction baits, you know, we've covered it all. We've covered finesse baits. We've covered blade bait. We've, we've covered all of it. Now you have two more presentations that will help put fish in the boat. Again, open water, deep water, exposed hook, shallow water, or fishing deep water through structure, to exposed hook, you now have what you need to know to fish these underspins uh, effectively. You guys, those tips right there, especially that little that little keep that little stinger keeper hook trick, has caught so many fish for me. Especially those spotted bass, those smallmouth that love coming up and just slapping that blade. That tip right there is money. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Hopefully you did. I expect you did. If you did, please give us a like. Remember to subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below in the uh, comment section. We'll try to get to those as, uh, as quickly as possible. But a uh, little nugget for you guys. This time of the year, get out, throw that swim bait. If you can't get them on that swim bait, add some flash, add some vibration. It doesn't matter if you're throwing six pound test on a spin rod or 20 pound test on a, a swim bait rod, these baits will put fish in the boat. As always guys, we appreciate you. Have a good one.